today we have an all new bar burner. I hope you're excited for it. We're going to burn out your legs and your core, so make sure you have a sturdy chair or the back of the couch that you can use. Make sure to talk with a doctor before making any fitness changes, and as always, modify if you need to, rest if you need to. So it's about 15 minutes, we'll warm up together, then we'll get into our legs and end with our core. Are you ready? Let's go. Okay friends, so let's go ahead and get started with a nice easy warm up. We're going to start marching. So you're lifting your knees, swinging your opposite arm across, but make sure it's nice and controlled. So you're using your core to pull up your knees. Extending out through the arms, extend up through the crown of your head, nice posture. Deep breaths, turn on your core. We're going to turn it off in about 15 minutes. So everything stays contracted and working this whole time. So it's not passive. Remember, you get out of it what you put into it. Let's do four more. Three, two, arms will come up. So for this one, you're lightly tapping opposite elbow towards that knee, starting to warm up your obliques. Take some deep breaths. Breathe. Let's do three more. Two, and one. Go ahead and walk your hands down your legs. We're gonna come into a nice plank position right here. So you're either up in full plank, or you can drop to your knees. Whichever option you choose, make sure your hips are in line with your body. So we're not sticking up in the air. They're not sagging down. Plank is a great way to warm up. So breathe through it, and if you're ready for a challenge, lift one leg off the floor, point your toes, tiny little lifts right here. So kind of just saying hello to the glutes. Give it a nice little warm up into what's to follow. Breathe, tiny little lifts. Extend out through those toes, three more. Two, and one. Go ahead and switch legs if you have one leg up. Make sure your gaze is down towards your fingertips so your spine is in alignment. Good, breathe. Use the glute to lift the leg. Three, two, one, drop it. Walk your hands back towards your feet. Slowly roll all the way up. Step those feet out nice and wide. We're going to come into some plie squats. So your hands can be on your hips. Make sure your chest is lifted, core is tight. As you sink down, make sure your knees are tracking out towards your toes, not forward. And endeavor to get your thighs parallel to the floor if you can. So go ahead and squeeze to come up. Down, we lift. Down and lift. So as you come up, make sure you're using every muscle in your legs. So squeeze everything. Squeeze that booty. Beautiful. Let's do four more. Three. Squeeze. And last one. Let's go ahead and hold that lowest point. Tiny little pulses right here. So really starting to get into the adductors a little bit. Should definitely feel this in your quads. And also think about relaxing your hips down just a little bit. You don't want to tilt them under, but just make sure they're not pointing back. Breathe. And if you're ready for that challenge, go ahead and lift your right heel up off the floor. Tiny pulses. Four, three, two, go ahead and switch if you would like. Four, three, two, if you can, both heels up. Good, tiny pulses. Three, two, one. Lower down. Heels hug those feet together. Give it a little shake. Grab your couch or your sturdy chair that you're going to use, and we'll get into our plies. I have my hefty dining room chair here. You can use the countertop, the back of your couch, whatever works for you. I'm going to show you facing forward really quickly. You can either be in this small V, and this is helpful if you have any knee concerns, hip joint issues. I would definitely modify along the way. You know what your body needs to do, so be careful, be smart. Um, if you want a challenge, you're going to come up onto your toes and glue your heels together. So those heels stay glued together the whole time. So go ahead and face the couch, chair, whatever you've got, and we're going to sink halfway down and squeeze to come up. Down, we lift. Down and lift. So drop those shoulders away from your ears, lift up through the chest, tighten your core, 
And as you come up is when you want to exhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Good. So your fingertips are nice and light on whatever you're holding on to. It's just there for balance purposes. If you want a challenge, you could always take your hands away from the chair or the couch if you would like. Let's do four more. Squeeze all the way up. Last one. Change the tempo. We're going to go down, 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 squeeze. So each time you go down, maybe you get a little lower. And make sure to squeeze all the way up. So maybe your counts are a little slower than mine. That's okay. You're doing amazing. Keep it up. We have two more just like this. Down, two, three, squeeze. Beautiful, last one, hold that halfway point. Tiny pulses right here. So this is where it starts to burn a little bit. That's when you know it means that it's working. So hang in there. You don't want to feel pain though. So burning pain, you definitely know the difference. Do what you can, and then if you ever need to take a breather, take a breather, come back when you're ready. Okay, so we have eight more counts right here. Maybe we can get a little lower. Last four, three, two, hold it. Tiny, open, open. So really starting to engage into the abductors here, your outer thighs as well. Your inner thighs should already be on fire right about now. Nice deep breaths, maybe sink a little lower. Eight counts, that's it, you can do it. Seven, six, five, Breathe, and come on up, shake it out. Beautiful, so we got our quads, inner thighs, a little bit into the outer thighs. We're going to go ahead and get our glutes, so make sure your hips stay parallel to your couch or chair. Step one foot back, keep those hips pointing straight ahead, and using your glutes, lift it about two inches up off the floor. So tiny little lifts right here, and really think about extending out through those toes, Tighten your glutes. Picture them growing stronger, leaner, perkier. Nice deep breaths. Pull the core in. Beautiful. Let's do eight more. Ooh. Three, two, one. So you're going to bend that knee just a little bit. Bring it in. And also bend your standing leg. So this is a small movement. So both knees are bent, and then you straighten. Bend, straighten. Good, so you're also starting to kick into that stabilizing leg just a little bit. And anything you do standing on one leg, or if there's a balance surface change, you're gonna kick in those core stabilizers too. So everything you can do standing on one leg, bonus core workout. Breathe, exhale as you push out through those toes. Awesome, you have four more. Three, two, last one. Let's go ahead and switch to the other side. Tap that toe back. Hips stay pointing straight ahead. Use your glutes, lift the foot. Tiny little pulses right here. So burners like this are awesome to do anytime during the day. You have about 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Every little bit counts. And also, I'm not sure, like, if you guys think about EPOC, it's the oxygen that your body uses to restore the body back to recovery state after a workout. You have more EPOC sessions if you split your workout up during the day. So if you're really busy and that's all you can fit in, you'll be like, hey, just get more EPOC, you get more afterburn. So there are benefits to splitting up your workout. I also find that you can work a little bit harder if you split it up. So a little blitz throughout the day can actually be really good. So let's do four right here. Three, stand up for those toes. Last one, same thing, little bend, straighten, bend, and straighten. So like there's a wall behind you, tap the wall, in and press. Good job, really use those glutes. Let's do four more right here. And three, two, and one, beautiful. Let's go ahead and release, give our legs a break. We're going to do two sets of push-ups, one wide and one narrow. So I'll do it facing this way. 
So your goal, do as many as you can on your toes, and then if you need to sink down to your knees, that's okay, do as many as you can. Let's go, 10. Exhale on the way up. Let's do three more. Two, and one. Come on up, shake it out a little bit. We're going to do a set of narrow push-ups, get into the triceps. So your elbows stay close to your body, but your chest just drops to elbow level. So make sure you're not sinking too low. Go ahead and get set up. Knees or toes, I'm gonna to do my knees because these are wicked hard. Get ready, here we go, 10, down and up. And even if you can just do one or two on your toes, next time do three. Maybe you do four next time. Push yourselves. Four, three, two, and one. Come on up, shake it out, go ahead and grab a mat, we'll get down on the floor little core burner and then we'll be done. Okay, so go ahead and lie all the way down on the floor. Couple options here, your hands can be pressed onto the mat or the carpet next to you. They can be underneath your hips or a challenge will be lightly pressing the back of your head. Shoulders will come up. Make sure to pull your stomach in, okay? So go ahead and bring both knees up and we're just gonna extend one leg out, bring it back in. Extend, in, extend, in. Good, so we're really getting into our deep core muscles right here. And if you want that challenge, you can go ahead and come up, turbo fire it up a little bit. So really extend out through that leg. Nice deep breaths. Good, and put mind some muscles. So really think about those core muscles getting stronger. Nice deep breaths. Three. Two, and one. So extend those legs out, and then bring them in. Out, and in. So you're doing both legs together, and maybe it's a 45 degree angle, like what I have going right here. Maybe you're pressing down closer to the floor. So find your most challenging point, but as you come in, make sure those knees stop at hip bone level. So we're not coming all the way into your chest. Keep the spine rooted into the floor, and then just press out and in. Awesome job, breathe through it. Let's do four more. Three, two, and one. We'll split the legs right here, so really extend out through those toes. Straighten the legs as much as you can, doesn't have to be perfect. And we're just gonna slowly switch, slow, and slow, slow, and slow. So if you find that this is bothering your hip flexors a little bit, you can keep the movement smaller, that might help. Or if you wanna go into some side crunches or something that'll target your obliques that doesn't fire up your hip flexors, do what you need to do. This one is excellent though. Really extend out through your feet, and then we're gonna go fast, get ready, three, two, and one, here we go. So go as fast as you can, keeping control and keeping everything pulled in. You got it, four more counts. Last two, and one, hug your knees into your chest. Come on out, roll over onto your belly. So just kind of extend your legs out, arms come out, tighten your core. We're going to lift right here. So really think about creating length as well as lifting. So extend out through those arms, extend out through the legs. Tighten your core to come up a little higher. Good, and then from here we're going to plank extravaganzas. Last thing we're going to do, so find your plank of choice. Breathe and squeeze everything. If you want to challenge, bend one knee towards the floor. Squeeze to lift up and bend straight. So this is your finish line right here. Finish nice and strong. You did amazing. Eight more counts. And as always, you can repeat this video later today if you would like. Two more. And lower down. Slowly roll all the way up. Thank you so much for working out with me today. 
Have an amazing day and I'll see you later. Bye.